Yeah, uh, that's probably the the number <laughs> the number two question that I get um, quite a bit. You know, knowing what I know now, would I would I do it all again? And you know, this is a question that I I have usually shied away from answering because I, you know, I don't want to fall on one side of the fence or the other. But to be absolutely honest. Um, Knowing what I know now, would I have taken this ride with them? Yeah. I, I, I think the only thing I would have done differently is I probably would have acted more aggressively um, from, from a legal standpoint. Um, document preparation, uh, legal arguments, I probably would have been way more aggressive. Um, not that it may have mattered since it seems like the Watchtower can manipulate you know, even the courts, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the answer is yes, knowing what I know now, yeah, I would have taken this ride, you know, without hesitation again, you know, has it cost me a lot personally, yeah, I lost, I lost a house, well, an apartment, a very nice apartment, I lost, uh, a girlfriend of 10 years, I lost, uh, a great job, you know, I had a nice little, uh, business in Europe lost that um, I lost quite a bit and these are things I don't tell people because I'm not trying to you know oh feel sorry for me I'm a, I'm a victim of the watchtower no no I, I'm not saying that it's just uh, yeah I lost a lot of things and you have to keep in mind you know during the course of this two years I had been diagnosed with cancer and I kept that from them for three or four months and I still worked on legal documents you know and I I, I was terrified every day I, I thought if this is it you know at least I want to know I tried to correct the wrong I tried to make the wrong things right you know and I, I was fortunate that I found a, a crazy surgeon who was willing to try a procedure that only two or three surgeons in the country would be willing to attempt. But all this was going on in the background, and most people don't don't know that. Nobody knows this. I had been diagnosed with cancer. I I was in bed, literally, writing legal documents. You know, um, I I had everything I owned packed up and put in a box, and my and my then girlfriend dumped it out. I, I mean. And there was no resolving that. And this is a, a woman who I had been with for 10 years. And she basically told me, um, I knew you were going to help with this case. We talked about it before you left. She said, but you got to choose me or the case. And I said, I can't walk away from this. I got I to gotta finish what I start. I can't walk away from this. You know, this is... This is something that's wrong that I got to try to make right one way or another. And she said, okay, you made your choice then. And it was painful and it was, it hurt like hell. But that's how much I believed in, in trying to do the right thing and just trying to bring the truth out. Just trying to bring the truth out. And that's all we wanted. Bring the truth out, expose it, and, and the powers that be within the Watchtower will correct it, fix it, or do whatever. But they seem to be more interested in trying to cover it up, hide it, and prevent people from knowing about it. And if, if something spilled out into the public, then it was, oh, these are the rantings of apostates. Don't listen to this. You know, and <clears throat> it's legal documents. There's nothing apostate about a legal document. <laughs> it's just, you know, they, they didn't want people finding out things. Um, yeah, there was a lot of things that had gone on behind the scenes. You know, I was sick half of the time. You know, and we were at each other's throats some of the time because it was strategy and, 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 and deciding, you know, how to do this without seeming like we were attacking the Watchtower. This is because if you look at all the legal documents, we never put the Watchtower down as a, as a defendant that we were suing. It was always individual people because we believed, OK, it's not the Watchtower. It's just certain people within the Watchtower. Okay, and we'll help to clean out this cancer and get these people out of the way 
and then the watchtower will be fine. That's what we thought. Now we think of something a little different, but <laughs> or at least I do. I do, but there was a lot going on in the background, you know. Um, there was, and, and that's not even the half of it. I mean, um, we all, we all ha gave something, you know. I mean, uh, Arlen St. Clair's son was run off the road, almost killed. And um, I, I remember going down to the hospital. I took my camera and I actually filmed it. Went down to the hospital and I asked him, I said, do you think this was an accident? And he looked at me and he said, no, this wasn't an accident. I was purposely run off the road. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a lot of things that had happened. You know, uh, uh, you know Arlen's son has a three-year-old daughter and somehow someone took a picture of his daughter while they were out shopping one day and that, and that kid's photo wound up on a, a, a pedophile website. You know, and it was horrendous for them. They had to up and move away. They had to go into hiding. It's just, there's been a lot of things behind the scenes that have happened that most people wouldn't even believe, you know. But here, are, you know, we, we got a front row seat. So believe me, as crazy as it sounds, it's just the facts, you know. But we dealt with it all, you know. We dealt with it all because we felt for us it's more important that the truth come out, you know. Um, but but there, there was a lot, you know. From day to day, there was a lot. 